When you're taking care of yourself this well and you're pouring into you, you're not having alcohol, you're eating clean, you are more clear-headed. You are more focused, aware of where you want to be in life and what you want to be spending your time doing. We are Gold Ivy. Our mission is to empower you to own and unleash your truth. Stories of resiliency are gold and ivy grows in hard places. Those hard places are what creates space for light to shine through. You decide what works for your daily life and how to transform our lessons into your gold. This is Ivy Unleashed, a Gold Ivy production. One of our most popular episodes was with Jesse Golden, the creator of our new favorite and life-changing skincare line, The Golden Secrets. You've probably seen us post about it because we take it everywhere with us, but we wanted to fill you in on exactly what we're using and the results we're seeing with this sustainable, fair trade, and cruelty-free skincare and wellness line. Jesse mentioned that the one thing she'd take to a deserted island is her heal all oil. So with her incredible looking skin, I jumped in and bought it right away. I'm using the Helal oil as a moisturizer at the end of my skincare routine, or if I'm in a rush and only use one product after cleansing, it's the Helal oil. I also use it right before my new gua sha routine. The Golden Secrets has a gua sha tool called the Sorceress Stone Gua Sha Beauty Tool. It's an ancient holistic facial massage tool that enhances your skincare routine by increasing blood flow, circulation, and nutrients to brighten the complexion and tone, and it lifts the facial muscles naturally. Jesse says, this is the one beauty tool, hands down, that has made the greatest impact on my skin. It has helped retrain the way the patterns of my face, muscles, and skin function. I'm already seeing more definition in my jawline and cheekbones, which is so exciting. Jesse provides tutorials on exactly how to use all of our tools and products. So as a person who's notorious for knowing nothing about skincare, the Golden Secrets has been my favorite discovery. And for me, I've spent years getting back my health. And because of that, I take what I put in and on my body very serious. I can say without a doubt that the Golden Secrets is the only skincare products I will use in the future. I swear by the Hila Oil, the Youth Beauty Face Oil, Coconut Lip Balm, and will soon have every product on my bathroom sink. The Golden Secrets is rooted in nature, ancient wisdom, and organic beauty. Jesse Golden thrives on making skincare and wellness products that benefit everybody. We're thrilled that we have a discount code you can use to save money when you shop the Golden Secrets. Use code GOLDIVY for 10% off today and keep watching us at Gold Ivy Health Co. on all social channels as we continue to share our amazing results with the Golden Secrets skincare line. You can find the link and code in the show notes of this episode. If you're a regular listener of the show or you follow us on social media, you know I, Brooke, just ran my first marathon and Andrew ran her 22nd state in her goal to run a marathon in every state. How did I go from barely getting out of bed to being able to run 26.2 miles? A customized training plan and coaching with Andrea. With my health concerns, it was important for me to make sure I crossed that finish line safely and confidently. We are so excited to announce that we are now offering customized training plans. Whether you're wanting to run a 5K, 10K, half, or full marathon, we've got you covered. Get your customized training plan plus coaching to get you race ready and keep you motivated along the way. Prior to receiving your training plan, you will meet with me, Andrea, for a 15-minute call to discuss your goals, race details, and schedule your three coaching calls. You will receive a training plan for your race, tailored to your schedule, endurance, and cross-training preferences like yoga, biking, strength, or whatever movement you enjoy. Coaching throughout your training will provide accountability, safety, and inspiration to keep you pursuing your training and race goals. With Andrea, you will connect your mind and body to maximize your race experience. And if you're looking for a custom training plan without coaching, we're offering that as well. Head over to the shop page on our website, goldivyhealthco.com, to learn more and get you across that finish line. And to today's episode of the Ivy and Leash podcast. Welcome back to Ivy and Leash. Thank you for joining us. We are here in black and white which I think we it, we do this a lot. We do. We compliment each other. We're the well. yang and the yang. And today what we're going to talk about is kind of 
going to resemble that too <laughs> in how things are currently going. And we want to talk about 75 hard. We both are within this challenge, learned a lot within our experience. A lot of people have been saying, keep us posted. I want to know how it's going. What day are you on? All these things. And we don't post a ton about it, uh, but we're deep in it and feeling a lot of feelings from it, mm -hmm. from an extreme challenge like this. We want to get into that, but we also want to just talk about and highlight the fact that life is hard mm -hmm. and it's especially hard in certain parts of the world that we don't live in. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about this the other day and, and talking with Justin about it, how, like, what are the odds that we're born in this country and then also in the state or a region of the U.S. that's so safe, like there's no hurricanes in the Midwest and, you know, we got some tornadoes here or there, but we're pretty safe. Like, I feel like I'm in one of the safest places, neighborhoods, and it's such a privilege to live where I live. And we just want to send out love to the Middle East. We want to send love out to people that are grieving and scared, that don't feel safe. It's easy for us to talk about things and challenges when we have the privilege to be in a comfortable, safe place. Mm -hmm. And so self-growth is kind of, it's a privilege. Some people are thinking about survival and some people are feeling like, let me try and drink a gallon of water. You know, <laughs> so just some perspective, we're very aware of what's happening in the world and how big of a privilege it is to be here talking with you. We're grateful that you're listening and that you're in a space for self-growth too. Mm -hmm. Well said. Thank you. Yeah. And yes, we want to send love to all, all everyone all over the world, but also those that are hurting, that are struggling with illness, you know, whether it's the world or your unique situation. Andrew and I, we do talk about our struggles and our struggles are unique and everyone's struggles are unique to themselves. And we just want to acknowledge that and know that our mission here is to be a light for you, that we share what we're going through in hopes that it inspires you to take better care of yourself. We can't hear that enough, that your business, your family, your dreams and hopes and fill in the blank doesn't matter if you're not okay. Mm -hmm. And we feel that all of the time. When we're off, we feel how it affects our business and our relationships and our finances. And so this is the opportunity that we have each week to be in your AirPods, in your car, letting you know that it's important and giving you permission to take care of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, everybody struggles in some way, no matter where you live. Like we all have mental health struggles and pain is pain. Suffering is suffering. And it's important that yes, it may be tougher in another area of the world, but if you're struggling it has to be the priority. Mm -hmm. Like it has to be something that you focus on. And so that's why a lot of our episodes are really just about mental health. And, you know, we keep getting asked what we do lately because we've been at expos and talking with people and pitching our brand. And, you know, we know we can't have one without the other. We need to have our physical health. If you don't have your physical health, you have nothing because you're dead or mm -hmm. <laughs> you're really sick. And that in turn affects your mental health. And if you're not focusing on, you know, what Brooke and I are about to talk about, yes, it's, it's a mental, it's a physical health challenge as far as like workouts and, and drinking water and things, but it's a huge mental toughness mm -hmm. journey. And it challenges you in ways that we really want to explore and talk with you about what we've learned, what we're experiencing in real time as we've kind of pushed ourselves to new limits. Yeah. One of us is still doing it. One of us is not, has failed. And so we'll get into that. But first, um, also, can we not say failed? One of us is not doing it anymore. Yeah, fair. Okay, you didn't fail anything. Okay, okay. All right, Spoiler. way to tell them who it is. Spoiler alert! <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to explain to the people who aren't familiar what 75 Heart is, because it is pretty a, a niche spot in the internet, I would say. So Annie Frisella is a big personal development guru, business, entrepreneur. CEO. CEO of First hard Form. Hard ass. Oh my god, Hard ass. He's great. He's the guy who I want to listen to when I'm like, get your shit together. So he created this challenge based on a bet that he made with buddies. And it's 75 days of two 45 minute workouts. One has to be outside. You read 10 pages every day. So these are things you do every day for 75 days. 10 pages of a personal development book. You take a progress pick. You drink a gallon of water. You... What am I missing here? You have to be on some type of diet yes. you choose where it's basically just leaning you towards healthier options. Yes. No alcohol and no cheat meal. So you have to stick to the diet. 
Mm -hmm. So you've got your water, your exercise, your self growth and your nutrition. And you track these for things for 75 days. Mm -hmm. I made it today 44 and I would still be doing it. Most challenges are 30 days. They are. They are. And his reason for doing it is it's a mental toughness challenge. And the reason that I did it was for discipline. I do all of these things. I'm a health coach. Health is my world. I love movement. I love eating healthy. Like because of my health journey, I've had to do these things. And so it wasn't that it was really hard for me. I would say the hardest part was fitting in the two workouts. Like we both walked in the pouring rain and had to get up early and lost sleep over it and whatnot. But the reason I did it is because I know if I'm really focused and disciplined in my personal life and in my health, it is going to waterfall into my finances, into my business. When you're taking care of yourself this well and you're pouring into you, you're not having alcohol, you're eating clean, you are more clear headed. You are more focused, aware of where you want to be in life and what you want to be spending your time doing. And so I knew that by doing this, my goal was that it was going to help the business it was going to help me financially and it was just going to help me feel really freaking confident with myself. Mm-hmm. And it did all of those things until it didn't. <laughs> Why did you do it? I'm curious. Well, I think for me, it was just like, it's kind of like childbirth. Like mm. I, <laughs> it sounds so weird, but I didn't get an epidural with, well, also because of like how things progress with my births, because I wanted to see if I could do it. It was like just ego, just like, can I do it? Am I tough enough to do this? Shoot me up. (laughs) (laughs) Which was my third. I did get an epidural before I pushed and I see why they're made. I'm my body stopped shaking. And so that was wonderful. So Mm -hmm. you don't get an award if you don't do an epidural. Didn't know that. Just kidding. No, I knew I didn't get that, but it's just ego. It's just like, I wanted Mm -hmm. to see if I could do this. People are talking about it. Am I tough enough to do it? And I think for me, I've always strayed away from it because I don't, like, and we don't believe as a business that everything has to be hard and restrictive and so extreme because that is not how life is. It needs the balance of fun and rejuvenation. It needs flexibility because you get sick. It needs compassion and meditation and spirituality mixed Mm -hmm. in here. Like there's missing pieces to this puzzle. So I don't want to take anything away from 75 hard because I have already experienced a lot of transformation and and I'll explain that. But I wanted to also get some more discipline Mm -hmm. because as I've said a million times on this podcast, summer is tough for me. I always drink more. I stay up later. I'm getting up later in the morning. Business isn't as great because I'm not executing at the rate. I'm I'm foggier Mm -hmm. because of the drinking and the crappy foods and the travel. Just lack of uh, structure. Yeah. And what this creates is like badass structure. (laughs) It's like you have to plan these workouts because Brooke was explaining one day we were at the Twin Cities Expo and it's a long day and you have to fit in your two workouts. So we're both like, okay, let's fit one in before and let's fit one in after and one has to be outside. So before the expo, it was raining. Brooke is brilliant and was like... (laughs) I'll go no matter what. It's it's raining. I'll go outside and I'll get it in the outside. And I was like, oh, I'll just wait till after the expo. Turns out after the expo was a torrential downpour, crazy winds and like flooding in my neighborhood. Which is tough because like, <laughs> as you're saying these things, I'm like, we do not condone this. We do not <laughs> support you walking outside in dangerous weather. Now, people were concerned. People were very concerned. Yes. And there is a level of, okay, I know my limits. I will be fine. And, and we did it. We survived and maybe we're fine. I don't know. Still asterisk, up for debate. Asterix. Andy Frisella also says, if there's flooding, if there's a tornado, please don't. And my husband did leave the home at 10 30 to come check on me. Wait, he the- says, please don't. So does he recommend then you start back at day zero? He's just saying like, please don't die on my behalf. It's like a safety for him. Yeah, for sure. But he's also like, you know, your limits, like, just don't be absolutely dumb about this. Get outside in the rain. (laughs) But like, still do it. You're fine. Yeah. So yeah, Justin did come out to make sure I was okay. And he was like, what did he say? You're ridiculous out the window. And I was like waving and smiling because I couldn't actually hear him because I had my AirPods in listening to Andrew Frisella. So anyways, the reason I did it was basically, or I am doing it because I'm on day 16 right now, mm-hmm. the beginning of October. And I am 
showing myself every day that I can follow through on things. Mm -hmm. And you can do this in any way for yourself, but having something, if you feel like, God, I just keep not following through, having something with a lot of structure sometimes can give you that, really flex that discipline muscle. And I'm learning people are really intrigued by it. Mm -hmm. They want to hear about it and they want to know how it's going and they're curious and they're, you Mm -hmm. know, it's, it's something that's positive to talk about that's taking care of yourself. Today's episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Every episode of Ivy and Leash is dedicated to empowering you to take ownership of your health. And what it really comes down to is prioritizing your mental health. We've both seen the beauty and growth that therapy can bring and are thrilled to partner with BetterHelp to allow you the opportunity to feel heard and seen by a professional. The National Alliance on Mental Health reports that 155 million people live in a designated mental health professional shortage area, and BetterHelp is working to close that gap. I've personally used BetterHelp and loved it because it was all online, making it super convenient. The biggest piece for me was how affordable it is. I was able to choose the therapist that met my needs. I came in with wanting to work on childhood trauma and anxiety, and it was unbelievable to see how many options I had with all the different backgrounds of therapists. With BetterHelp, you have access to a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists. Therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness. And sometimes we can't see our own patterns and behaviors until we talk them out and get an unbiased perspective. It's really nice to have someone who doesn't know you and has the professional background to help you thrive in your daily life. It has made the world of a difference with every relationship in my life, including the one with myself. To get started, all you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire about your needs and preferences and choose your therapist out of the options they give you. You can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. Also, you can switch therapists at no additional charge until you find the right fit for you. The best investment you can make is in yourself. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash gold ivy. That's better H E L P dot com slash gold ivy. Take the first step to inner peace and freedom today. Brooke, what do you think everyone wants more of? Energy. What do you think most people are hoping to come out of 2023 with? Mm, feel more confident, be an example for others, actually have the self-discipline to take care of themselves. Yes, exactly. Because we hear the need for it and we want to help you get in the best shape of your life, we created Move with Gold Ivy, our virtual workout platform. Our dream has been to create accessible, affordable, and effective workouts that you can do anytime, anywhere, designed to hold you accountable and get you the results you need. You can pick any workout you want at any time, but if you do want a plan that alternates muscle groups and leaves your body feeling energized and strong, we have a weekly plan that you can follow to take the guesswork out. It's easy to navigate and packed with all kinds of workouts that will help you strengthen, trim, pump up, tone, energize, de-stress, all of the things we want our body to feel. It's within MOVE. Don't forget to mention the resources we offer. As a member of Move with Gold Ivy, you'll be a part of our exclusive Ivy League community where we share our top wellness resources on things like meal planning, gut health hacks, time management, and more. And because you listen to the Ivy Unleashed podcast, we want to offer you all of this for only $20 a month, cheaper than any monthly membership you'll find. Not only that, you'll get a free trial week to test it out. And if you need more incentive to start prioritizing you, here's our favorite part. Your movement matters. Each month, 10% of your membership will be donated to support the mental health of those in need. So head on over to goldivyhealthcode.com slash move or find the link within the show notes of this episode and sign up today. Stop putting yourself in the back burner. Snag your spot and reap the benefits that you deserve to feel this year. It's your time. Move for your health, move for your confidence, move for your mental clarity, move with Gold Ivy. And now back to the show. And as health coaches, we are obsessed with the challenge. (laughs) And I think really when it comes down to 
reflecting back on why I did it, I was entering wedding season and I'd always thought about it. We were seeing it a lot and I wasn't feeling the greatest because it was wedding season. It was summer, you're drinking, you're not as structured as we've been saying. And I knew that it was almost like if I had this, I'm doing this challenge, I didn't have to say I'm not drinking because I don't like to drink. Mm. It was like an excuse that people would respect, which is really messed up when you think about it. But it's how our culture is. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm around people who are in their late 20s and we're in this phase of post-college, but not married and kids yet. We're getting married, Mm -hmm. but it's still a a time to really party and you're with your friends, you have a drink. And it was almost just like the comfort I needed to be like, no, I'm doing this for myself and be like, oh, that's badass. And now being on the other side of it, I like being a sober queen (laughs) and so do my people when I have, when I get to sober cab them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and I think too, it's, that's why it's such a self growth thing with alcohol because it is against the grain. It is Mm -hmm. against what our culture values. I mean, you see the commercials of like people having the best time in the cutest outfits and life is extravagant if you're drinking, you know, and to say, I value how I feel when I'm not drinking Mm -hmm. and People have opinions about it because it triggers them because they don't want to address that or they don't want to think about that or it makes them feel a certain way. But you have to remember that is about them. Mm -hmm. That is not about you. It has nothing to do with you, actually. You are choosing a thing that's good for you Mm -hmm. and you're having a journey with it. And anybody's feelings about it, opinions about if they want to be away from you or with you, like it it reflects their values Mm -hmm. and what they're not willing to to address within themselves of why they rely on it, Mm -hmm. you know, like what it brings them. And some people just don't think about it because they don't have to, and they don't want to, they don't have to because it's so acceptable in society. Like you said. Yeah. And they're not dealing with illness or other things that really do force them to not drink. And a lot of people aren't entrepreneurs that really require (laughs) a depth of thinking and execution of daily tasks forward thinking, creative thinking, you know, a lot of things that you you go to your nine to five. Yes, you have to be creative in a lot of jobs, but some, a lot of it like, isn't your livelihood dependent on like (laughs) bringing in the dough. Yes. It's like, it's, it's coming. I'm I'm showing up at work and plugging in and signing Mm -hmm. in and I'm going to get my paycheck. Yeah. You know, I made it today 44 and even the transformation in that, like I could, they have an app, which is really great where you can track everything and you see your pictures and you can just kind of swipe through them. And so of course day 44 comes, I decide not to continue. And that night I'm like, I'm just going to delete this app. Cause if I wake up tomorrow and I see it, I'm going to be disappointed. I'm like, no, mm-hmm. tomorrow I'm going to look through and I'm going to see all my progress. Like I wrote my takeaways, my notes, my symptoms, how my energy was, And even just seeing my progress pic of my abs and my bicep from day one to day 44, I did my skin, seeing my skin transformation. And it wasn't about the looks. It was about internally. But when you're doing it day to day, you kind of forget. You don't see it as clear as if you go back. Mm -hmm. And so that was really rewarding of, okay, I didn't make it to the full 75 days, but I did have serious transformation in 44. And I do feel like the habits that we're tracking are things that I'm going to continue with. Like it felt really good yesterday morning to wake up and to meditate and then read. And I didn't have to check a box. Like that was freeing for me. Yeah. And, and so what ended up happening was last Monday, I woke up to what I thought was a scratch. Turned out it was some sort of insect bite. By Thursday, I was here working and it was very red, very inflamed, very hot Andrea's husband was like, it's infected. You need to go to urgent care. And so went to urgent care. They told me, yep, it's just probably an infected bite. Doesn't look like a tick bite, but come back in three weeks and get tested for Lyme. And so it just kept getting worse. Got on antibiotics. And Saturday, I was just like, not okay. Fever, chills, thought I was dying. Turned into cellulitis, which is a bacterial infection. And I had all the habits done, but my second workout. And like, I was sitting there just debating like, okay, could I get on the floor and just stretch? And it was like this pull of, this is not what your body needs. Like, this is not healthy. This is like the point of no return where you're 
ignoring what you really need. And in that moment, I'm like, okay, my body doesn't need hard right now. It needs love. (laughs) And this doesn't take away, like the challenge is just something that's an added bonus. Like my value, my worth is not in this challenge. There are things that I really love about 75 hard, but it doesn't take into account the illness piece. And I think for a quote unquote normal human, like it's great. But for me, it pushed my body way too much. Like it was too stressful on me of checking the box, go, 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 walking in the rain, not getting enough sleep. And I have to view things in a different lens of like my body is, it's not fragile because I'm not using that word. Mm -hmm. It is, it just takes being very intentional about what I do and how I am. And I, I need peace and flow and love. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of why I decided to discontinue the challenge. But I feel a sense of relief of like, oh, okay, I can sleep in and cuddle because it feels good and not you have to get up at 5 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's so important too, as you know, entrepreneurs that are creating challenges Mm -hmm. for people to have this experience because a lot of people that follow us have a chronic illness or gut health issues where your body is fighting bacteria, it's fighting parasites, it's fighting inflammation, whatever you want to call it. And it's this added energy and focus for Mm -hmm. That just depletes you faster than the normal human being. It just does. I don't want to say normal, but like the average person doesn't have these things that are taking energy from them to be okay. Right. You know, yeah. like for me, I love exercising twice a day. I'm like, great. I have an excuse to do this again. Sweet. You know? Mm-hmm. And it's just like my body doesn't need that extra energy to help me function, mm-hmm. you know? And I think that's important to think about too is if you're going to create your own challenge or you're going to partake in one of the gold Ivy challenges, like we are going to weave in rest. Mm -hmm. We are going to weave in play so that you can rejuvenate and look forward to a time where you're not pushing for the workout. You know, it's like, you don't have to think about a workout Mm -hmm. a day or two of the week. You know, we want you to move your body and get outside and all of that, but that is not going to be any type of failure. Like we're not even using that word. Yeah. Brooke threw out that word. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. (laughs) We did not, you did not fail a thing. Like this is success of learning something where you see what the challenge is, you crushed it, and then you have the decision to prioritize your health Mm -hmm. or your ego to check Mm -hmm. a box so you don't lose your streak, right? right? And so now the question is, you know, where'd the discipline go? What did we learn in this? What are we, you know, and I say we, what are you, like, what did you take away spiritually with your mental health during this? Like, what epiphanies did you have that you're like, I'm glad I did it. I learned these things. Like, what are you taking from that? I think the confidence piece is a big one. The clarity of what makes me feel good and not negotiating that, Mm, you know, of almost the slowing down to think before you agree to things. Like I still had the chances to drink alcohol and I just didn't want to or eating foods that, so for my diet, I did foods that came back on a test that I did that showed it made me inflamed. And so a a sensitivity to certain foods. So I chose to stay away from those foods. I still want to stay away from those foods. And so it's more, not having to explain why I'm doing things and being at peace of, okay, I love yoga. And like during this challenge, I was lifting heavy because I wanted to grow a booty and look ripped. And you know, and I'm like, oh, okay. I really just need yoga and, and I love that. And that's okay. And I can still strength train, but in a way that isn't so hard on my body. I think it's just learning more about what makes you feel good mm-hmm. and the ego piece of if I have to check it a box, it almost takes the benefits away from me because I get way too into it. And maybe it's just right now where I'm at, but moving forward, what I want to do is what feels good and fully be present and do that thing. Do you feel like you're making progress towards 
not getting upset or defensive when people ask you why you're doing things or not doing things. Yeah. I also think it's, you know, we just released an episode on gut health and it's, it's different when you're in it and you're talking about it. And then when you take a step back and you hear yourself, you know, like this is seven years in the making of me turning the deepest, darkest points of my life into now helping other women. And so there is that imposter syndrome that comes with it. There is that I'm following all these doctors and I don't sound like them and I'm not a functional doctor. So who am I? And I'm doing these healthy habits that make me so clear headed that I do feel confident that I have something to offer and that I can help people. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question, it's the clarity that it's brought me, the energy, the confidence, and that the, I can be at peace and flow and ebb and slow down and kick ass at my career. It doesn't have to be an or doesn't have to be so structured. Mm -hmm. It's the letting go of the expectations of how things should be. Yeah. I think any challenge you do when you're so focused on your self growth and your health and your well being spirals into your mental health. And there's going to be transformations that you didn't even think you didn't expect. Mm -hmm. I'm having that right now. Like this is like a spiritual journey Mm -hmm. for me. Like it's wild what has happened in 16 days. Like I strategically started after a bachelorette party Mm because I was like, I know I want to drink at that. No shame in that. I was like afraid to say that. I'm like, whatever. Like there's experiences you want to drink at and there's nothing wrong with that. doesn't mean you have to add them in the future Mm -hmm. or, you know, you could choose not to. But for me, I really wanted to be able to drink when I was at that party. So I waited till the following Monday. And so right now it's been, you know, 15 full days are checked off. Mm -hmm. And within the 15 days, I was, I was explaining this to Justin yesterday. It's like, there is a clarity. You mentioned that. And that's a huge word. There's a clarity that comes when you are not exhausted from alcohol Mm -hmm. and the fog it creates in your brain of like, intentionally you like the fog because you want to stop thinking so much. Like it's exhausting to think so much. So people (laughs) like a glass of wine because then they think less and they care less. And it's just, it eases you because we worry and we're parents and we're students and we're trying to plan a wedding or, you know, whatever Mm -hmm. it may be. And it's exhausting. So we just want a damn glass of wine to like turn it off for a second. And there's no shame in that. Right. But there is a lesson in when you don't have that coping mechanism, what do you turn to? What happens? It's, it's this clarity. And what also happens and and Catherine kind of talks about this is that alcohol can be an energy block. Mm -hmm. What I'm learning that that block is, it's like the word is energy she uses, but I think it's like your spiritual well-being is also blocked because you're caring less. I I also think it like turns off your ability to hear God or your, whatever you call it, universe, to hear your calling, to hear your fill in the To hear what you want. Right. And so when I have had alcohol removed from my life, whether it's for a pregnancy or a challenge, I have this relationship with God that's like, I hear so much more clearly and notice signs and know like the divine timing of certain things. Mm -hmm. And I have people put in my path or songs that I listen to where my mind is so clear that I know there's purpose in the the song that's on right now. The song, (laughs) oh my gosh, I need to send this to my friend. She would love to hear this song in the midst of grief. Like how helpful could that be? If I was hungover, (laughs) first of all, I don't even know if I would be able to have a Christian song on because I would probably have a headache or like (laughs) be getting ready last minute because I have no energy to get ready or we know whatever Mm -hmm. people have been placed in my path. I'm getting up earlier and being able to connect with people more. Like I'm feeling so connected to myself, to other people, to God in the midst of this, because I have the clarity to think about what's important Mm -hmm. and I'm worrying less because of the anxiety that alcohol gives me post drinking, yep. which just spirals into the whole week until I'm drinking again. <laughs> and it sounds so bad, but like Sunday nights are typically tough for people. And then Monday's a little better once you get some work done. And then Tuesday's like, okay, we got to, I feel really productive. And then Wednesday's like, okay, I got the majority of my work done. And then you're looking forward to the drinks on Thursday and Friday, right? It's you like, finally feel good. And mm-hmm. then bang. 
Yeah. And so if I would say anything about 75 hard, I would say that you, you have these cycles that you, we all go through. It's a familiar thought cycle. It's a familiar pattern in your week, in your day, in your relationships, in your habits. You just keep kind of doing the same thing until you hit it with something that throws it off. You take away the coping mm-hmm. mechanism that you rely on so mm-hmm. hard. Maybe it's alcohol. Maybe it's food. Maybe it's distracting yourself with TV. Maybe it's shopping. What fill in the blank. You take away that coping mechanism and you're like, shit. Okay. I'm feeling uncomfortable right now in this social situation. I don't have a drink in my hand or I found water, but it's not doing the trick. What do I do now? Okay. I take a breath of fresh air outside. Ooh, that was nice. This is better out here. I'd rather be talking to people I don't know outside. <laughs> or I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'm going to sit in there an extra minute of washing my hands because I just need a break from the people, you know, or whatever it is. You where- get very in tune with what it is that you need. Mm-hmm. And you're, yeah, you're using this coping mechanism to numb mm-hmm. because that need is uncomfy or we're so out of touch with what that need is. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't have alcohol and then I didn't have the reliance and comfort of food because I had to eat super healthy. And so for me, it was the shopping and the buying things to feel better. And this challenge too helped me see, no, you don't need these things. What you really need is connection or you need to freaking sleep mm-hmm. and rest and not feel the need to be doing something. Mm-hmm. And I think this challenge, 75 hard or whatever challenge you're doing, it serves you if you let it. And it serves you depending on where you're at. For me, I already don't drink. I already eat pretty healthy. And so these boxes were just causing me more stress. And would I still be doing this if I didn't have cellulitis and a terrible infection? Yes. (laughs) You know? And so what I'm hearing you say is you almost need that permission or that reason of, okay, I'm not drinking right now Mm -hmm. because of this. And I have to eat this way because of this. And when your body and your mind isn't used to that, all of these like possibilities and these callings and these, I call them downloads where you're so clear and you can actually hear the message that the universe, God, whoever you believe is trying to send you. And there's been so many of those nuggets throughout this challenge that I hear those that, you know, we were at the expo and we met this man and he said, who's, I'm feeling an energy. Who's Elizabeth? And it was my grandma. And he said, you need to call her. I said, she's dead. He said, she's with you. You need to meditate on her. And he just walked away. And Andrew and I were like, what the hell? (laughs) Like little moments like that, where you feel like you're being guided because you just feel like all of this heaviness and I don't want to call it poison, but this, these things you're using to numb, like food or alcohol, or instead of reading a personal development book, you're watching reality TV and all these things that are blocking, like you're saying your energy and what it is you really want from life. When you have this kind of structure and it's maybe new for you, or you haven't done these things in a while, it is like, it's, it's enlightening. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're always going to have a challenge because sometimes you need something outside of yourself to help Mm -hmm. you check a box. That's like, you know, ours will be a little bit different than 75 hard in a way that's like very holistic, very full mind, body connection, spirituality weaved in. And we talked about, we've created a challenge, right? Right now we are going through the ultimate reset with our move members and on our Facebook group for support. And it's things that you're adding in every day to support you, but it's a way of life. It's sustainable. Like that's what we felt like was missing from 75 hard is what about when you really, really need rest? Like then you have to start over at day zero or can it be okay tomorrow? I'm going to track my workout and my food. And what, what if instead of you have to follow a diet, it's, Hey, each meal, let's make sure you have some protein and some whole real foods. Mm -hmm. And you have a workout program to follow that targets some stretching and some walking and some strength training because you need variety. Mm -hmm. And there's the play and the rejuvenation on the weekends. And so the brain loves structure. It does. And in this society, we do need to keep these things at the forefront of our mind. And I do love a program and a challenge for that reason. But like you said earlier, it needs to incorporate the compassion Mm -hmm. and the peace and the love and being a damn human. (laughs) <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, that's why we're here. Like mm-hmm. we're here to empower you to feel like you can 
And if you need ideas, we have them. You know, within this ultimate reset, we provided 100 <laughs> habits mm-hmm. to help you out so that like, you, sometimes you don't want to be told exactly what to do, but you want ideas because life's exhausting and, and you want the variety and you want to try new things. But, you know, sometimes you don't want people telling you what to do. Sometimes you need some ideas or whatever. And so just know that, you know, as you follow along on any social platform at Gold Ivy Health Co., that our mission is to help you feel supported and the compassion Brooke's talking about in that it's not always go, go, go. And we don't even want that. We're saying too, like this slowing down, not drinking, it's slowing down time (laughs) because when you're drinking, you're in like a time suck. Like where did the last two hours go? Or you black out and you don't even remember, or you you sleep in because you're tired from drinking, but it's low quality sleep. And then you lose more time of your day because you got to take a nap later you never got good sleep. Mm-hmm. Like this gives you time back. <laughs> it really does. Of really thinking about, okay, I know these things are good for me. And I really, I probably should do some type of challenge. I want to challenge myself. I want to feel good about following through. And so that's the value in a challenge mm-hmm. just because maybe ours is different than 75 hard. Like you got to find your challenge. And if you want the type of influences in your life that also combined in the compassion and the grace and the love and the mental health resources and physical health resources. Like we are your girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we're running a challenge once a quarter. So this is our second one we're doing at any time. You can join our Facebook group, try move for a week free and you get in for the Facebook group so you can see what it's like. You can get on the wait list for our next challenge. We're currently working on the fact that you can buy this at any point. So that's exciting. Stay tuned for that. But right now, if you do need support, you can always reach out. We're always available and open for your DMs, Mm -hmm. your emails, however you want to get in touch with us. Mm -hmm. And speaking of challenge, we would like to challenge you with our three gold stars. Number one, determine one of your main coping skills for uncomfortable situations or hard feelings and write down three things you could do instead. Number two, schedule a walk or workout with a buddy. And three, delete one thing from your calendar that you do not want to be doing to allow yourself to slow down and cultivate some peace. And your piece of gold this week comes from us. The real challenge to conquer is the ability to meet your needs in a way that serves you best. This is Gold Ivy signing off. Listen to your truth and go chase your gold. We want to thank you and encourage you to celebrate yourself for taking the time to learn and get inspired in your one beautiful life. And if this podcast means something to you, it would mean so much to us if you'd be willing to take 30 seconds to help support our mission to keep bringing you inspiring stories and guests. First, following the podcast is important because it helps you never miss an episode. To do this, just go to the Ivy Unleashed podcast show page on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. And then just tap the plus sign in the upper right-hand corner or click on follow. While you're there, if you'd be so kind to give us a five-star rating and review and share your favorite episode with a friend, we'd be so grateful for your support. We are thrilled you're here and are so happy that you're taking time to prioritize your wellness, self-discovery, and growth with us. The Ivy Unleashed podcast is produced in partnership with Jay Gray Podcast Production.